Hey everybody, uh, Brian here with uh, BPS Customs, STEC TV, and uh, today I just wanted to do a really quick video about something that people uh, sometimes tend to overlook when building PCs, uh, and that is power. How much power you need, what kind of clean power delivery your power supply is going to offer you, um, things like uh, how much is it going to cost to keep your PC running? Because uh, a lot of times PCs stay on 24 hours a day. Um, and this all factors in to, uh, to what you should be considering when building a computer. Um, you know, people think that, oh, I'm just going to throw these components in and this power supply that I have from my last system will definitely be enough. A lot of times that is not the case. Um, I've been building PCs now for almost 20 years and I make mistakes about this. Uh, there are websites available that allow you to calculate the amount of power that you will approximately need. However, um, in real life applications, what you really need to do is if there's ever any doubt, you need to step up to the next tier uh, just to make sure that you're getting enough power delivery from your power supply. Um, I actually recently ran into a situation uh, with this, which is um, you could find out some more details about that in my last video. Um, but this is now my personal system. Uh, I had built this with this, which is the Corsair HXI 850i. Uh, this is uh, this is a fantastic power supply. There's there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. My problem was I underestimated how much draw my system would have. Um, what I had to do in order to get the system working properly was to upgrade to the HX1000i. Uh, this allowed me to um, run stress testing on the system without actually having it uh, crash. Uh, it, several times during uh, when I was trying to run some stress testing, um, I would have it would just crash and reboot. Um, now I started to kind of get the inkling that there was something wrong when I was running my initial benchmarks, although. The, the system was blowing through a lot of benchmarks. It actually struggled with graphical, intent, um, graphical intense benchmarks like Valley um, and even Firestrike. Now, um, in my with the previous iteration of this, well, not this system, but my prior uh, personal rig, uh, which was based on an i5-6600K, uh, the scores that I was getting for uh, Valley benchmark with the same two uh, MSI 980Ti's um, was uh, 97, approximately 97 frames per second uh, at 4K. Now, I ran this, the, uh, the benchmarks again when I first put this system together and I came out with, and I have this written down, uh, 89.2 frames per second on the same settings. Um, didn't make any sense to me. Uh, if anything, the, the score should be the same or approximately the same. There's no way I should be losing, um, you know, a uh, significant amount of frames after upgrading from an, a 60, an i5 6600K to an i7 5820K. Um, and subsequent runs would actually decrease that score. I was getting uh, scores in the uh, 70s and 60s frames per second um, as I kept trying to repeat the test. Now, you know, what was going on? Uh, you know, the first thing that, that I thought was that I had my SLI configured incorrectly. You know, there's not a lot of settings <clears throat> it, that it takes to configure an SLI, but perhaps something was wrong. Um, but the second thing that I thought of was power delivery. And so what I did was I went out and I bought um, a little piece of equipment that I'm gonna show to you now. So excuse me while I take this off. But here we go. This is called a kilowatt. And as you can see, or perhaps not see, there we go. This measures draw of whatever you have plugged into it. Um, right now it's not pulling a lot because I'm not stressing my system. Uh, but what this does is it allows you to see what your peak power draw is. If you plug this in, you set it to watts, and then you run some stress testing on your system. This little piece of equipment you could buy from Amazon 
Uh, this cost me $23. Um, it actually is a very, very useful tool, uh, something I will certainly be making use of in the future as well. But you can see how it mounts. It just plugs into the power strip, and then you plug your system into it, and it measures the draw of whatever you have plugged into it. So it's actually useful for other things, appliances um, or other electronic items or anything like that that you think may be pulling too much power or malfunctioning in, so in some way. Um, but it allowed me to see that at peak power draw, my, my system was pulling over 800 watts from the wall. Now for an 850 watt power supply, that should be okay. Um, but then again, this is, this is what I was do, using initially. It should be okay. But if you ever have any spikes, ever any peaks that hit that 850 watt mark, you're going to run into problems. And that's what was happening with me. When I was stressing the system, when I was running graphical intense items like Valley Benchmark, um, I was hitting, uh, I was peaking at over 850 watts and the system was crashing. Um, not only that, but when I was running Valley, you know, I was getting close to that 850 and it was just, it, it was not delivering enough power to allow the, the, the 980 Ti's to, um, to properly function and they were throttling. It wasn't a thermal thing. They were staying in the 40 degree range, 40, 50 degrees, because they are, um, they are liquid cooled, as you can see. Um, so uh, by swapping to that 1000 watt power supply, um, I've, you know, I've fixed a lot of the very small issues that I've run into. And also now I am able to properly stress test the system, make sure that everything is running fine, make sure that my overclocks are stable. Um, so that's just something to keep, to keep in mind that, you know, you, if you're ever in doubt, if you're ever at that threshold where you're like, maybe I should go to the next tier of power supply, you probably should. Um, and it will, it'll make sure that you're, you have a smooth power delivery to your system and that, um, you don't run into any issues like I was running into. So that was a quick video. Uh, this is Brian with, uh, BPS customs and, uh, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.